performance and what led you to be part of this year's HBCU Honors? So I think this was the manifestation of a whole lot of prayer <laughs> and some good relationships. Um, a friend of mine who uh, was in the presidential suite at the Kennedy Center doing a performance that I was a part of with the National Symphony Orchestra knew some of the folks who were putting on this performance and they said to my friend, her, and um, so they said, oh yeah, I'll get you her contact information and the rest is history. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Happy Mommy, girl, you work in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody can't pull that off. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Leah Selena, and I'm with the Link Entertainment. You are the HBCU Rising Star. What does being an HBCU Rising Star mean to you? Well, HBCUs are kind of synonymous with stars, in my opinion. I think there's just an influx of us um, throughout all of the hallways and all the various programs. I was almost a little too overwhelmed when I first got to Howard University. I called my mom and I was like, mom, is everybody here bad? They all got it. And she's like, well, baby, you're here. You're there on purpose. And so it's um, it's truly an honor to be handpicked as I was today. Um, but it's it feels more divine than anything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anybody else? So you are a Howard alum? Yes. Okay. What was your major and what was your inspiration? My major was jazz studies. I first entered Howard as a biology major. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I love science. Yes. Okay, see, you're about to graduate? Yes. Hey, hey, come on. Come on. You're almost there. <laughs> and um, they had auditions for the music department. And I was like, okay, that, I think that's what I'm supposed to do. And so there was uh, a beloved person there in the department who was one of my mother's students back in Minneapolis, Alicia McKinney, who unfortunately has <laughs> transitioned. And um, my mom was like, okay, talk to Alicia and see what she says. And she spoke very highly of the program. She too also, she graduated from Howard um, Music Department. And uh, it was, I think so far the best decision I have made next to choosing Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love your light and I love your energy. Do you see yourself acting or do you see yourself in musicals and maybe Broadway shows and Ooh. plays? Yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. I started in musical theater. I was a theater kid all my life growing up, part of the National Thespian Honor Society. Ooh. And um, would love to find my way back to the to the Broadway stage, or Broadway theme stage and eventually Broadway, that would be. Yes, so you got to speak that. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Any other questions? Questions? Okay, questions? I'm sorry. All I right. Got a new one. <laughs> Since you mentioned you're a theater kid, yes. What's your favorite theater drama or musical? So, ironically enough, it's about to be released. Um, I saw Wicked in Chicago, um, my senior year of high school, and it kind of changed my idea of performance and how transformative we have to be on stage and off stage. I got a chance to speak with some of the cast members and you know some of their routines that play a big part in their just readiness. My mother always says stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And um, from then I, I was just at, I looked at the production very differently. So I cannot wait to see it in theaters. <laughs> yes. All right, any more questions? All right, let's get Oh, well, okay, so I did play Dorothy in the way you. I loved it. I played Adam Crow the first time, and then Dorothy the second time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a queen right here. How did you feel being on the stage tonight? <laughs> that little bit of magic that you get when you get to perform um, and it was it was a surreal moment in the moment in the, in the time but then when I got off the stage it kind of got back to reality and a dose of gratitude came over me. You know when, when you were in there with the media team you talked about your faith in Jesus Christ. Yes sir. How, how important is that to you? It is absolutely life. Um, 
He's really, number one. Yeah, without love, we are nothing. So um, I'm grateful for the ultimate love, ultimate sacrifice, which has, has geared me here. So. You're, you're beautiful. What would you tell the young people looking up to you and you want to be a role model to, to them? What would you tell the young people watching you? Uh, breathe mm. and um, practice their holism. The connection between mind, body, and spirit, and allow the Holy Spirit to nurture their day to day and everything that they do. Consult can, the Holy Spirit. And how can people get in touch with you through your IG? Yes. They're going to reach you. Tell them. At Imani Grace underscore music. I M A N I G R A C E underscore music. And he's coming on Pick TV, right? Come on. That's right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for watching this PIC TV Network special presentation. We hope that the insightful content provided valuable information and entertainment to our esteemed viewers. Your support and viewership are essential to the success of our network. To make a donation, go to watchpictv.com or scan the PIC TV QR code. Help us build the PIC TV Studio World Training Center.